Not even the rain could stop huge crowds from coming out to World Fest this year. Tonight is your last chance to celebrate culture and diversity in downtown Louisville. It's a great event. Check it out. That's where we find our Madeline Carter. Madeline, some showers moved through not long ago, but hadn't stopped the fun, has it? Rick, you can say that again. People are still out here. It's packed even after a bit of a downpour just minutes ago. It's a beautiful night to enjoy the final few hours here. And really, it's just a chance to come out and experience the diverse culture that we have right here in Louisville. And everybody I talked to today, they tell me that really this event has surpassed their expectations for this year. I think it just keeps getting better and better. It's a big turnout. I didn't expect it to be so many people because it's kind of cloudy. The crowd on Friday, I haven't seen that crowd in 10 years. The crowd on Saturday and Sunday, you couldn't even walk through here. It was packed. Four days packed with culture and diversity. That's what World Fest, Louisville's premier international festival, is all about. Representing Senegal, West Africa. Representing Mexico. Representing Thailand. There are cities increasingly global. That's been a big priority of ours so our kids can grow up in a city that looks like the world. World Fest brings global representation, including authentic food, shopping, and entertainment, right here to Louisville. World Fest is, is a, a pot of all the cultures, the food, the language, and the music. It's awesome. Well, where else can you see Mexico and African jewelry and Asia and listen to music and eat good food. But there is one thing at World Fest people may love most. The food. <laughs> I love to cook. I love to make the food for the people to eat. And when the people eat, I really so happy. No matter what brings you here, what matters is people coming together. And to have the diversity that we do in Kentucky now um, versus what it was 20 some odd years ago, Pretty awesome, pretty proud of the city. Exploring and celebrating international cultures for 20 years and counting. World Fest is going to be a big thing for a long time. That's right, you have just three hours left to come out and experience all that World Fest has to offer. It's such a wonderful event, and as for me, I've been really curious to find out what this pineapple drink is all about. Thank you so much, Emily. Now, what is this? It's from the Caribbean. Yes, it's from the Caribbean style pina colada from Ooh. Victor. It is a basically a, pine, a pina colada smoothie with pineapple, uh, some Coco Lopez coconut cream, wow. and then they mix it all up. It has no alcohol. No alcohol, and I needed to clarify that. Yeah. Now, Rick, I don't know about you but four days packed full of these celebrations of such incredible diversity and culture here in our city that's a reason to celebrate so live out here at world fest i'm madeline carter wlky news hey guys